calculating the percentage of multiple variables into one single variable in SPSS using the compute variable. In this data view in SPSS, I have exam result for 20 participants. 20 students have taken an exam for, uh, for 10 questions from question number one to question number 10. And as we can see here in the variable labeled ID, student number from 1 to 20, and question number from Q1 to Q10 is listed in a column in a variable labeled with Q1 and Q10. And the value or the score for each question is either recorded as 0 or 1. Zero indicates that the student had, had answered the questions wrongly, and one indicates that the student had answered the questions correctly. And to calculate the percentage of correct answer the student have or obtained, we need first to add all the scores for the 10 questions divide that by 10 the total number of questions and then multiply that by 100 so we need to calculate the percentage of the correct score for each individual student i.e we need to generate a column here or a variable which contains the percentage of correct answer for each student. And the way to do that is either using the plus sign or the sum function or sum command. And I'm going to show you how to do both of these methods to work out the percentage of the correct answer. So here we have to click on transform click on compute variable and in this window we need to generate a new variable and we will call it first added values or added variable as we are going to first add the variables the multiple variables here into one variable and then calculate the percentage and then in the numeric expression, I'm going to click on question number one and move it to that box and click on the sign and then move the question number two and click on the sign plus um, and click on question number three and so on. So now here I, I had generated the formula asking the software to add all the scores within each variable from Q1 to Q10 together in one variable called added variables. So if I click on OK, a new variable is generated, which is the sum or the added value for the scores within these 10 variables. Now to calculate the percentage of the total of the correct scores, so we need to divide the correct scores, which is in this column seven, divided by the 10 and multiplied by 100. Again, we click on transform, 
compute variable I can use the same formula here or I can do it in different way in which I will show you shortly how to do it so here what I'm going to do I'm going to put this variable into bracket and then use this symbol the division symbol to divide all this the added value for all the variables divided by 10 and then multiplied and this is the symbol for multiplication multiplied by 100 to generate the percentage of the correct scores or answers and if I click on OK ah, so he asked me to change the label so I need to generate a new variable here we'll call it the percentage percentage and then if I click on OK again a new column is generated showing the percentage of the correct answers 70% 30% as this student answered only three questions correctly 60% 70% and so on so this is one of the way to calculate the percentage for specific case that has multiple variables either by adding the variables together and then dividing it by the total number and then multiply by 100 or another way is instead of, instead of using this equation I could also just use the added value here move it to the numeric expression box use the division symbol because this added value already have the added value in it divide that by a 10 and then multiply that by 100 and I call that direct percentage as I had or I call it here I'm gonna call it here percentage number two percentage number two so the way to calculate percentage to this way so again a third column is added here which is showing the percentage for these 10 variables so either we do the equation through plus sign and then divide it by 10 multiplied by 100 or um, calculating and generating a variable here for added value and then dividing it by 10 to uh, multiply it by 100 to generate the percentage or using this column to generate the percentage or a direct way is instead of generating to, to doing the percentage calculating the percentage in two step I can do a one direct step and this one direct step is again we we'll call it direct percentage again we just click on open a bracket first of all to open a bracket and inside the bracket we want to transfer the question number one add the plus sign question number two add the plus sign question number three and so on now I can do straight away without just doing two step just direct step so I I'm asking here the software to calculate and add all the value for these 10 variable into new variable and call it call it direct percentage and then divide that using the symbol division by 10 and then multiply that by 100 again this is a much direct way much easier way and instead of doing two step procedure with just one step procedure the whole formula calculated in one step in one variable so 
this is one of the way to calculate the percentage through the uh, plus sign another way to calculate the percentage is to use the sum command in SPSS if we click on transform again click on compute variable reset this and uh, here I'm going to again doing the same step first of all calculating and adding all this values or scores for the 10 variable together in one variable and then in a second step calculate the percentage so I'm going to call generate a variable called sum and in that sum I'm going to click here on the function group on the all scroll down until I find a group called statistical click on the statistical and scroll down in the bottom box and click on the sum drag the sum function into the numeric expression box again here it has a question mark between two brackets so I'm going to add all the variable from variable number 1 to 10 in between these two brackets separated by comma so here I'm going to delete the, the question mark and add the Q1 and then add question 2 and then separate by a comma add 3 separate by comma and so on now I'm having here the function called sum so the computer will calculate the sum for all the Q value within Q1, 2, 3 until Q10 and generate a new variable called sum if I click on OK again another new variable is generated here called sum and it is the value for the added scores for all the 10 questions now to calculate the percentage for this sum it's just again similar to what we have done before divide what is in the bracket it's important to have the bracket divide that using the symbol division by 10 and then multiply that by 100 and call this sum and then percentage click on ok again uh, another variable column with a variable level sum percentage is generated so this is a two-step again procedure to calculate the percentage using the sum command I could also do the same as I've done before instead of adding this I can remove this and drag the sum uh, use uh, the use uh, the variable called sum here into the numeric box divide that by 10 and then multiply that by a hundred and relabel this as sum percentage 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 call it two click on ok again what I want to show you here also we can calculate the percentage using this column the data in this column and multiply divided by 10 multiplied by uh, 100 again also we could compute we can instead of you doing two step method for calculating the percentage using the sum we can do a direct call it direct sum percentage and in that direct one again as I've done before open a bracket move the question 1 plus and then question 2 plus as I've done before question 3 plus until question number 
10 plus this one. Now I have an equation here between the two brackets. The computer will add all the uh, thing together. In fact, you know, instead of using this uh, um, variable, I will go and use the sum rather than this. I will use the sum straight away, use the sum instead of this, and then add the equation again, 1, 2, just to show you how can I use the sum directly rather than do it in two steps, because I've already shown you how to do the plus sign, so I'm going to show you how to do the sum command. Click on comma and then add this number 10. Again, I'm using here the sum set to four where start straightforward in one formula. Use the division uh, symbol by 10, multiply that by 100 to get a direct way of doing percentage using the sum. If you click in OK, a new variable is created here or produced that showing a one step of calculating the sum and the percentage together or a way of calculating percentage of the correct scores for these 10 questions for each individual student using a direct step one step. So this is different ways of to calculate the percentage of correct score for each individual students either using the sum function and then calculate the percentage in one step or in two steps or using the plus sign and calculating the percentage in two steps or a direct step